Deb Molin got a clumber spaniel three years ago, but her dog, named Oma, is much more than a pet. Why? Because Deb is totally deaf. I fell in love with a clumber spaniel. I saw a picture of one when I was a kid. Ted. And while most people associate service dogs as assisting the blind, 10% of them are actually trained to help the hearing impaired. I think the difficulty that hearing impaired people would experience is just not knowing what's going on around you. I'm a cop. When Deb, who can read lips, told people she wanted a clumber as a service dog, she was met with a lot of resistance. A lot of people told me that a clumber spaniel would not make a good service dog. They were too lazy, too independent. Joan McCoy, from an organization called Can Do Canines, accepted the challenge and is helping to train Oma to be Deb's ears. Deb and Oma have a good relationship, and I love to see that. That just warms my little trainer's heart. Is she reliable waking you in the morning? She tends to get me up, and then she goes back to bed. <laughs> yeah. When Oma hears the alarm, she lets Deb know it's time to wake up. What? When the phone rings, Deb can't hear it, but Oma can. She nudges Deb, then leads her to a device that allows deaf people to communicate with their caller. Oh, good dog. When she gets over here to where I am, ask her to sit. And when the smoke detector sounds, Good dog. Show mama. Oma touches Deb, then leads her to the alarm. I believe that Deb has definitely proven the naysayers wrong. I think Oma is a delightful service dog. Oma is a major part of the family. She always will be. <laughs> <laughs>